Welcome, folks, to tonight's game. This one promises to be a good one between the Texas Southern Tigers and the Purdue Boilermakers. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. Hey, you got to go out and play up to your ability. I mean, this looks like it'd be a total m and a total mismatch. The Boilermakers should have an easy one tonight, Dick. How do they keep this team from sneaking up on them, though? Hey, here's my keys for them tonight. First of all, reward your big man. Give him the ball down low. Get him into the game. Let him be part of the offense. Next, keep the mental mistakes to a minimum. Turnovers could be the story of this one, baby. Lastly, be aggressive defensively. Don't give them any open looks. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court, and let's get the action underway. The shot from the baseline. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. Both teams are looking to get something going here. On the outside, the point guard takes the pass. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Watch your head, young fella. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Puts up the tray. He buries the shot. Working it around the perimeter. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind me because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball or let him try to beat us. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. It's crazy in here, Brad. On the top of the key. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. Number 14 gets the pass. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. He attempts the trifecta way off target. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. From left of the circle. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. You can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He is going to the line. Makes the first. for the deep one. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all in them some. He's getting it done out there, Brad. They'd be in trouble without him. They look to get it to the inside. Looking for the foul. Dumps it in. Goes up for two. And he missed. Perfectly executed. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. Basket falls despite the contact. Trying to feed inside. He pump fakes. 
Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Gave it up. Looking for a good shot. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in a post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. And he'll kick it back outside. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Pruitt picks up the foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He's got a high post flasher. Simpson is fired up right now emotional. Hey, whether you win or lose, you should be afraid to show your emotions. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. On the dribble, gives it up. Now the turnaround jumper. Can't get the shot to go. Nice deal there, but the offense gets the ball back. He shoots from downtown. Well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Trying to go inside. With the fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. From the top of the circle. Oh, yes. It doesn't get any better unless you watch it again. go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Both teams looking to get things going here. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. The center with the ball. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. The ball goes out of play. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. In the paint. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Ten on the shot clock. Now they work it around the perimeter. He takes a three. Makes it. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Looking for a good shot. The center takes the feed. For the bucket, and in and out. And the ball goes out of play. Here's a flash from the post up high. He'll kick it back outside. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Doesn't go. He unloads a three. The sky is the limit right now with the three balls, Dick. Hey, the defense better switch it up a little or these kids will continue to light it up behind the arc. Get back out on the floor. Tries for two. 
Great play to take that to the basket. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. And a momentary look from three-point land. Jumps into the defender. He puts it in with contact and all. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Or two. Great play to take that to the basket. perimeter from the top of the key you betcha working it around the perimeter turns it over over plays on the pass and he didn't get the steal oh he's humiliated poor job defensively Moving it around the perimeter. Kicks off the lazy pass. The power forward gets the ball. Kicks it out. Got the shot if he wants it. He gets that one to fall. Double team now. Bad angle. McCarty comes up with it. It's a fast break possibility. Texas Southern are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. The ball goes out of bounds. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, it's still early, but I'm hearing on the sidelines there needs to be some sort of rhythm established before this one gets out of hand. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. Gave it up. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the T. I love it. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Almost lost the basketball. On the outside. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. On the dribble. Gives it up. Controlling the ball. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Both teams looking to get things going here. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure on the basketball. He shoots from the top of the key. Drains it. Watch the replay coming up. with that when you front if you don't get some backside help you're in trouble well you got to get help because you got to see ball man that's essential when you play on there and you're fronting that spin move not successful dick i did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn swatted from behind never saw him coming brad Purdue are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now.
Gave it up from beyond the arc. He drains it. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing. That big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. With anticipation defensively. Takes the pass in the paint. He does the sweet fake shot for the bucket. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. And one too many dribbles and a steal. You got to be careful when you go for those steals, Brad. That's a 9-0 run. Move inside, and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, and then does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. Got a man in high post. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The fake. Dickey's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. the perimeter and the ball goes out of bounds boy assisted turnover ratios are big and that's a big turnover I'll tell you they're turning the ball over too often you can't win when you do that on the inside Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block I tell you post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. Just about ready for a play to resume. Comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Tries for two. That's unbelievable. That'll silence any crap. The timing couldn't have been any better. That will definitely help this squad out. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip. Going one way, you spin back the other way. Up and inside. Takes the pass in the paint. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Number 14 with a finger roll. Terry look from three-point land. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The frustration right there. He shoots from the top of the key. He gets it to go. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. 
excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Dump it inside. In the paint. Will the bucket counts and one. Hey, great composure to take the foul and still get the shot off. Mr. Nestle, he has a little something for the opposition. That to me is a no-no. He goes to the line for the first time. He can't buy one. He grabs the board. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He gets the rejection. Oh, my goodness. That was unbelievable, baby. He gets the shot. He's got a nice shot fake. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Here's a double team. Another turnover. We're not talking out the turnovers either. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Kick it back outside. Gave it up. Steal. Here we go on the break. And a slam. Time to pick up the defense here now. Robs him of the ball. Here they come now on a turnover. Purdue is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He buries it. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Let's see if they go two for one here, Dick. He looks for the bomb. Dick, they are on a deadly tear right now outside the yard. Everyone's in on the action tonight, baby. On the inside. The ball goes out of play. Moving it around the perimeter. Stolen away. Shot clock is dead. Top of the circle. Whoa, that one silenced the crowd. Brad is basically telling the crowd to hush, zip it, keep it closed.
And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Looking for a good shot. Trying to draw some contact. And he scores despite the hack. At the half, the Tigers lead by 17. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. Purdue allowed the ball to be taken away a lot in that first half, partner. Not so much taken away, but give it away. If you can't take care of the rock, you're not going to win many games. I smell upset, Brad. What do you think? I wouldn't rule it out, that's for sure. We've got a team who has nothing to lose and another that has everything to lose. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Number 14 fakes the shot. For two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. He gets the bucket. There he is, strips the ball loose. For the bucket, it's good. Strip red. Tries for two. Knocks it down. They scored seven in a row. The power forward receives the pass. Here's the three ball. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. That shot was definitely ill advised. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. He looks for three. Buried it. On the dribble, gives it up. Fakes it. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Gave it up. Taken away. Working it around the perimeter. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. He pulls the trigger. I tell you, you'll be exceptional to make that shot because a lot of coaches don't like it because you're going away. You're not in rebound position. You better make it count. In the paint. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. He shoots from the top of the key. The Boilermakers are trailing by 22. 
Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. away off the rim and no good they're gonna call this one a backcourt violation dick you can't make mistakes like that too often brad as we take a look here at our backcourt production hey brad i'll tell you one thing productivity from the backcourt is a must you must initiate the offense distribute the ball and score these are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do or two in and out Spacing. Nice fake. A whistle and a foul. And coach not happy in the side. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Up and inside. There's the trap. He comes away with it. Applying lots of pressure, Brad, and looking for the steal as well. Count the bucket and the foul. He made a statement on that play, baby. And he back him down. He's his crow. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. Jump hook from the low post. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. From left of the circle, way off target. Basket falls despite the contact. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. I love the sky hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Good fake. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Dump it inside. Tan on the shot clock. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. They work the perimeter. Picks off the pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He hits it. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Puts it up. 
He comes up empty. Fake. For the bucket. I tell you, does a great job getting close position. Hey, Brown, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. He intercepts it. On the dribble, gives it up. He draws a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. are frustrated. They better be careful or they could find themselves in really a nasty funk out there, Dick. I'll tell you, that's not the mindset you want out there, Brad. The team must turn things around or else they could be in some trouble. Puts it up, looking for contact. Williams makes the finger roll. Jumped in front to take it away. Gave it up. They've left him completely alone. Drains the shot. The Tigers are up by 18. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Steals the pass. Tries for two. Is there enough in the tank for a comeback here, Dick? Stranger things have happened, Mr. Nestle, but time's winding down. Now they work it around the perimeter. Intercepted. On the outside. Shots there if he wants it. From right at the circle. Off the rim and no good. Goes up for two. The Boilermakers have got to continue to get him the ball. Daddy's on fire. Look at that spacing. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. It sticks. like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah they're really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass there they come with a double team to stop it the ball goes out of bounds let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us Aaron well, Brad, this was something before the game the coaching staff warned the players all about. Don't believe in all this pre-game hype. Looks like some of these guys were reading too many newspapers before tonight's game. Thanks, Aaron. On the inside, looking for contact. Contact causes the shot to come off. Take some pride on the defensive end. Trying to draw the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot get help from the help side and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Go 
goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Entry pass in the paint. Leans in. He puts it in with contact and all. Working it around the perimeter. Takes the shot. Way off target. On the dribble, gives it up. He strips him clean. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. With a quarterback pass. For two. Makes the shot. The Boilermakers are trailing by 18. Top of the circle, they work. Gets a hand in the way. Moving it around the perimeter. At the top of the circle. That's an ill-advised shot. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Up and inside. Takes away the pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He gets the bucket. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Perfectly executed. They still don't score. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. He goes to the free throw line. Misses the first shot. in drops the bucket despite the harm the Boilermakers trail by 21 takes it off him look at this guy's speed I mean he just puts pressure 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 on the defense all the time the way he takes and attacks the basket That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Ball comes back out from the post. Out there, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Stolen. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. Hey, as a coach, you really like to see your kids get up and challenge shots like that. A lot of times, a challenge is enough to make the offensive player change their shot in the air. On the top of the key, he drains the shot. Side. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. 
whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. He fires from long range. He nails the bucket. It might be safe just to start that bus up. I think this one's over. Can you imagine? I was a bad teacher. <laughs> Time to watch this game tape, baby, to see where you went wrong. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. We're going to move it around the perimeter. He rejects it. And now they'll bring it up. For two. And in and out. Looking for the foul. For two. Perfectly executed. Sometimes you got to take that whipping, Brad. Well, the D certainly is tonight. Double team now, bad angle. He comes away with it. Fast break possibility coming. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that ball. Oh, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Goes to the line for the first time. First shot is good. He doesn't miss that opportunity either. Picks off the pass. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. That was nice. Looking for a good shot. Working it around the perimeter for three. He buries the shot. Jump hook from the low block. A great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Jumped in front to take it away. Back into action here. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, the good block out. And that's essential in a post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Ten on the shot clock. Intercepted. On the outside. Looks at the three. Got it! Moving it around the perimeter. The power forward handles the feed. They're working around the perimeter.
Trying to pack it inside. Cross court. Picked off. He attempts the three. They're on fire dick from behind the arc. I'd like to see how long they can keep this up. The power forward receives the ball. Dick, they've got to find a way to regroup. We didn't expect this to happen tonight, and this has shocked me, and I think it shocked their fans and probably their coaching staff. I think the coach staff's got to get back in the practice environment and get them to be in Jets. I didn't like the way they acted at the shoot around. I thought they were too cocky then, and it reflected in the way they played. They were absolutely beaten today by a club that was ready to perform. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Purdue loses in a well-fought match. This is going to be hard to swallow since they were the favorites coming into this game. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed UB 